How we doing guys? We back with another video. This is a little different. This, well, this is me reading the Quran. Um, I have listened to the Quran over and over again. I haven't necessarily fully read it page to page, cover to cover. Um, because as I said in a previous video, I've never been... The, like, it's hard for me to focus on a book. Uh, like, really difficult. That's why I listened to it. And I followed along with it. But I didn't just sit here and read it. So, I'm doing this kind of as to challenge myself to do so. So, that's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to start from chapter one. I'm going to do this one chapter at a time. And I'm going to try to get it done within as soon as possible. I don't want it to take more than a month. Uh, which I doubt it will. But we're going to get into it. Okay? So if you guys like this idea and want to see me continue it, please let me know. I'm going to still try to read it um, by myself if you guys don't want to see it. But, you know. Um, this is also going to be in English because I do not know Arabic yet. I'm learning, but it's terrible. It, I am terrible at it. Um, but we'll get there. So starting with the opening chapter. Right? <clears throat> now don't judge me when I'm reading either. Okay? Not allowed to do that. But I do know, uh, other than the opening chapter, um, the following is very long. Very long. So this is going to be probably one of the longest ones. But I'm done talking. Let's get into it. <clears throat> in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, praise be to Allah, the cherisher and sustainer of the worlds, most gracious, most merciful, master of the day of judgment. Thee do we worship, and thine aid we seek. Show us the straight way, the way of those in whom thou hast bestowed thy grace, those who portion is not wrath, and who go not astray. Now I do know, um, I mean that's the opening chapter, right? So I do know some English translations are a little different. So I'm just reading what mine says specifically. This was a gift to me, okay? So if something's like not normal, let me know. Um, but I'm pretty sure they all, they're very, very similar. <clears throat> all right. Chapter 2. In English, it is the heifer or the cow. Um, I'm going to try to say it in Arabic. al Bakara. Could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. <laughs> in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. A-L-M. I don't know it. Aliflamim. I think is what it says in Arabic. I don't know what that means. Let me know what that means. This is the book. In it is guidance, sure, without doubt, to those who fear Allah, who believe in the unseen and are steadfast in prayer and spend out of what we have provided for them, and who believe in the revelation sent to thee and sent before thy time and in their hearts have the assurance of the hereafter. There are on true guidance from their Lord, and it is these who will prosper. As to those who reject faith, it is the same to them whether thou warn them or do not warn them. They will not believe. Allah hath set a seal on their hearts and on their hearing, and on their eyes is a veil. Great is the chastisement they incur. Of the people, there are some who say we believe in Allah in the last day, but they do not really believe. Fain would they deceive Allah and those who believe, but they only deceive themselves and realize it not. Which is true. It's, it's very true. In their hearts is a disease, and Allah has increased their disease. And grievous is the chastisement they incur, because they lied to themselves. When it is said to them, Make not mischief on the earth, they say, We are only ones that put things right. 
of a surety. They are the ones who make mischief, but they realize it not. When it is said to them, Believe as the others believe, they say, Shall we believe as the fools believe? Nay, of a surety, they are not fools, or they are the fools, but they do not know. When they meet those who believe, they say, We believe, but when they are alone with their evil ones, they say, We are really with you. We were only jesting. Allah will throw back their mockery on them and give them rope in their trespasses so they will wander like blind ones to and fro. These are they who have bartered guidance for error, but their traffic is a profitless and they have lost true direction. There's similitude is that of a man who kindled a fire when it lighted, lighted all around him. Allah took away their light and left them in utter darkness so they could not see. Deaf, dumb, and blind, they will not return to the path. Or another similitude is that of a rain-laden cloud from the sky. In it are zones of darkness and thunder and lightning. They press their fingers in their ears and keep out the stunning thunderclap. The while they are in terror of death, but Allah is ever around the rejecters of faith. The lightning all but snatches away their sight every time the light helps them. They walk therein, and when the darkness grows on them, they stand still. And if Allah willed, he could take away their facility of hearing and seeing. For Allah hath power over all things. O ye people, I worship your, your guardian Lord, who created you and those who came before you, that ye become righteous. Who has made the earth your couch, and the heavens your canopy, and sent down rain from the heavens, and brought forth there with fruit for your sustenance. Then set not up rivals unto Allah when ye know the truth. And if ye are in doubt as to what we have revealed from time to time to our servant, then produce a surah like thereunto, and call your witnesses or helpers, if there are any, besides Allah, if ye are truthful. But if ye cannot, and of a surly and of a sh surety ye cannot, then fear the fire whose fuel is men and stones, which is prepared for those who reject faith. But give glad tidings to those who believe and work righteousness, that their portion is gardens beneath which rivers flow. Every time they are fed with fruits, therefrom they say, Why, this is what we were fed with before. For they are given things in similitude, and they have therein spouses purified, and they abide therein forever. I know my reading sucks, guys. <laughs> I stumble a lot when I read. Which is another reason why I don't read a lot. <laughs> Forgive me. All of this is not to use the similitudes of things, even of a gnat, as well as anything above it. Those who believe know that it is truth from their Lord, but those who reject faith, what means Allah by the si similitude? By it he causes many to stray, and many he leads into the right path, and he causes not to stray except those who forsake the path. Those who break Allah's covenant after it is ratified, and who sunder what Allah has ordered to be joined and do mischief on earth. These cause loss only to themselves. How can ye reject the faith in Allah, seeing that ye were without life, and he gave your life? Then will he cause you to die, and will again bring you to life, and again to him will ye return. It is he who hath created you for all things that are on earth. Then he turned to the heavens and made them into seven firmaments, and of all things he hath perfect knowledge. 
Behold, thy Lord said to the angels, I will create of a surgeon on earth. They said, Wilt thou place therein one who will make mischief therein and shed blood? While us we do celebrate thy praises and glorify thy holy name. He said, I know what ye know not. And he taught Adam. That's me. And he taught Adam the name of all things. Then he placed them before the angels and said, Tell me the names of these, if ye are right. They say, Glory to thee, of knowledge we have none. Save what thou hast taught us, and truth it is thou who are perfect, thou who is perfect, in knowledge and wisdom. He said, O Adam, I tell them their names. When he said, when he had told them their names, Allah said, Did I not tell you that I know the secrets of heavens and earth? And I know what ye reveal and what ye conceal. And behold, we said to the angels, Bow down to Adam. And they bowed down. Not so Iblis, he refused and was haughty. He was of those who reject faith. And we said, O Adam, dwell thou and thy wife in the garden, and eat of the bountiful things therein, as where and when ye will. But approach not this tree, or ye run into harm and transgression. <clears throat> then did Satan make them slip from the garden, and get them out of the state of felicity in which they had been. And we said, Get ye down, all ye people, with enemy enmity between yourselves on earth will be your dwelling place and your means of livelihood for a time then learn adam from his lord certain words and his lord turned towards him for he is oft returning most merciful we said get you down all from here and if ye, if as is sure there comes to you guidance from me wherever follows my guidance on them shall be no fear nor shall they grieve. For those who reject faith and believe our signs, they shall be companions of the fire. They shall abide therein. O children of Israel, call to the mind of the special favor which I bestowed upon you, and to fulfill your covenant with me, and I shall fulfill my covenant with you, and fear none but me. And believe in what I reveal, confirming the revelation which is with you and be not the first to reject faith therein nor sell my signs for a small price and fear me and me alone and cover the truth with falsehood nor conceal the truth when ye know what it is and be steadfast in prayer give zakat and bow down to your heads and bow down your heads with those who bow down and worship do you Join right conduct on the people, and forget to practice it yourselves. And yet ye study the scripture, will you not understand? Nay, seek all his help with the patience, perseverance, and prayer. It is indeed hard, except to those who are humble, who bear in mind the certainty that they are met their, that they are to meet their Lord, and that they are to return to Him. O children of Israel, call to mind the special favor which I bestowed upon you, and that I preferred you to all others. Then guard yourselves against a day when one soul shall not avail another, nor shall intercession be accepted for her, nor shall compensation be taken from her, nor shall anyone be helped from outside. And remember, we delivered you from the people of Pharaoh. They said, you hard task and chastisement slaughtered your sons and let your woman folk live therein was a tremendous trial from your lord and remember we divided the sea for you and saved you and drowned pharaoh's people within your very sight and remember we appointed forty knights for moses and in his absence ye took the calf for worship and ye did grievous wrong even then we did forgive you. There was a chance for you to be grateful. And remember we gave Moses a scripture and the criterion between right and wrong. There was a chance for you to be guided aright. And remember Moses 
said to his people, O oh my people, ye have indeed wronged yourselves by your worship of a calf. So turn in repentance to your maker and slay yourselves the wrongdoers. That will be better for you in the sight of your maker. Then he turned towards you in forgiveness, for he is oft returning most merciful. And remember ye said, O Moses, we shall never believe in thee until we have until we see Allah manifestly. Thereupon thunderbolt seized you. Then we raised you up after your death. Ye had the chance to be grateful. And we gave you the shade of cloud and sent down to the manna and quail, saying, Eat of the good things that we have provided for you. But they rebelled to us. They did no harm, but they harmed their own selves. And remember we said, Enter this town and eat of the plenty therein as you wish. And enter the gate, prostrating and saying, Forgive us, we shall forgive you your faults and increase the portion of those who do good. But the transgressors changed the word from that which had been given them. So we sent on the transgressors a plague from the heavens. From that they infringed our command repeatedly. And remember Moses prayed for water for his people. We said strike the rock with the staff and gushed forth therefrom twelve springs. Each group knew its own place for water. So eat and drink of the sustenance provided by Allah and do no evil nor mischief on the face of the earth. And remember, you said, O Moses, we cannot endure one kind of food always. So beseech thy Lord for us to produce for us of what the earth groweth. It's, it's wild herbs and cucumbers, it's garlic, lentils, and onions. He said, Will ye exchange the better for the worse? Go ye down to any town, and ye shall find what ye want. They were covered with humiliation and misery. They drew on themselves the wrath of Allah, this because they went on rejecting the signs of Allah and slayed his messengers without just cause. This because they rebelled and went on transgressing. Those who believe in the Quran and those who follow the Jewish scriptures and the Christian and the Sabians, any who believe in Allah in the last day and work righteousness shall have their reward with their Lord on them, shall be no fear, nor shall they grieve. Now I will say from the Quran, that verse right there, is definitely one of my favorites, because it does not separate everyone. It is a verse that is there to, I feel like, bring people together. You know, I feel like I've been reading forever. I really have not. But we're going to get to part two of this, which is in how many pages? Okay. We have about ten more pages. So bear with me. Drink some more water. I'm thirsty. I knew reading was so much work out loud. <clears throat> I haven't read out loud since a very long time. All right. And remember, we took your covenant and we raised above you the Mount Sinia, saying, Hold firmly to what we have given you and bring ever to remembrance what is therein. Perchance, and ye may fear Allah. But ye turned back thereafter, had it not been for the grace and mercy of Allah to you, Ye had surely been among the lost. Well, you know those amongst you who transgressed in the matter of the Sabbath. We said to them, Be ye apes despised and rejected. So we made it an example to their own time and their posterity. In a lesson to those who fear Allah. And remember Moses said to his people, Allah command that ye sacrifice a heifer. They said, Makest thou a laughing stock of us? He said, Allah save me from being an ignorant fool. They said, Beseech on our behalf, thy Lord, to make plain to us what heifer it is. 
he said. He said, he says the heifer should be neither too old nor too young, but of middling age. Now do what ye are commanded. They said, Beseech on us behalf thy Lord to make plain to us her color. He said, he says, a fawn-colored heifer, pure and rich in tone. The admiration of beholders. They said, Beseech on our behalf, thy Lord, to make plain to us what she is. To us are all heifers alike. We wish indeed for guidance, if Allah wills. He said, he says, a heifer not trained to till the soil or water the fields. Sound and without blemish. They said, Nost how thou brought the truth. Then they offered her in sacrifice, and they scarcely did it. Remember ye slew a man and flew into a dispute amongst yourself as to the crime, but Allah was to bring forth what you did hide. So we did strike the body with the piece of the heifer. Thus Allah bringeth the death, bringeth the dead to life. And showeth his young, his signs. Perchance ye may understand. Thenceforth, when your hearts harden, they become like a rock, and even worse in hardness. For among rocks there are some form which rivers gust forth. Others there are, which when splint asunder, send forth water. And others which sink for fear of Allah. And Allah is not unmind mindful of what you do. Can ye, O ye men of faith, entertain the hope that they will believe in you, seeing that a party of them heard the word of Allah, and perverted it knowing after they understood it? Behold, when they meet the men of faith, they say, We believe. But when they meet each other in private, they say, Shall you tell them what Allah hath revealed to you, that they may engage you in argument about it before your Lord. Do you not understand their aim? Know they not that Allah knoweth what they conceal and what they reveal. And there are among them illiterates who know not the book, but see therein their own desires, and they do nothing but conjecture. Then woe to those who write the book in their own hands, and then say, This is from Allah to traffic with it for a miserable price. Woe to them for their hands do write, and for the gain they must they make thereby. And they say, Fire shall not touch us, but for a few numbered days. Say, Have ye taken a promise from Allah? For he never breaks his promise. Or is it ye... Say of Allah what ye do not know. Nay, they, those who seek gain and evil, and are girt round by their sins, they are companions of the fire, therein shall they abide forever. But those who have faith and work righteousness, they are companions of the garden, therein shall abide forever. And remember, we took a covenant from the children of Israel to this effect. Worship none but Allah. Treat with kindness your parents and your kindred and orphans and those in need. Speak fair to the people. Be steadfast in prayer and give zakat. Then did ye turn back except a few among you and ye backslid even now. And remember... We took your covenant to this effect, shed no blood amongst you, nor turn out your own people from your homes, and this ye solemnly ratified, and to this ye were witnessed. After this it is ye, the same people who slay among yourself and banish a party of ye from their homes, assist their enemies amongst them, in guilt and transgression. If they come to you as captives, you ransom them, though it was not lawful for you to banish them. Then it is only a part of the book that you believe in. And do, ye, do you, ye reject the rest? But what is the reward for those among you who behave like this, the disgrace in this life? 
and on this day of judgment they shall be consigned to the most grievous chastisement for Allah is not unmindful of what ye do these are the people who buy the life of this world at a price of the hereafter their chastisement shall not be lightened nor shall they be helped we gave Moses the book and followed him up with succession of messengers we gave Jesus the son of Mary clear signs and strengthened him with the Holy Spirit it is that whenever there comes to you a messenger with what ye yourselves desire not ye are puffed up with pride some ye call impostors and others ye slay they say our hearts are the wrapped wrappings which preserve all his words we need no more nay all his curse is on them for their blasphemy little is it they believe and when there comes to them a book from Allah confirming what it is with them although from from of old they had prayed for victory against those without faith when there comes to them that which they should have recognized they refuse to believe in it but the curse of Allah is on those without faith miserable is the price for which they have sold their souls and that they deny the revelation which Allah has sent down an insolent invade that Allah of his grace should send it to any of his servants he pleases thus have they drawn on themselves wrath upon wrath and humiliating and the chastisement of those who reject faith when it is said to them believe in what Allah has sent down they say we believe in what was sent down to us yet they reject all besides even if it be truth confirming what it is with them say Allah say why then have ye slain the prophets of Allah in times gone by if ye did indeed believe there come to you Moses with clear signs yet ye worship the calf even after that and ye did behave wrongfully and remember we took your covenant and we raised about you the Mount Sinia saying hold firmly to what we have given you and hearken to the law they said we hear and we disobey and their hearts were filled with the love of the calf because of their faithlessness say vile indeed are the behests of your faith if ye have any faith say if the last home with Allah be for you specifically specially and not for anyone else and seek ye for death if ye are sincere but they shall never seek for death on account of the sins which their hands have sent on before them and Allah is well acquainted with the wrongdoers thou wilt indeed find them of all people most greedy of life even more than the idolater idolaters which one of them wishes he could be given a life of a thousand years but then grant of such life will not save him from due chastisement for Allah sees well all that they do say whoever is an enemy to Gabriel for he, for he brings down the revelation in thy heart by Allah with a confirmation of what went before and a guidance and glad tidings for those who believe whoever is an enemy to Allah and his angels and prophets prophets to Gabriel and Michael lo Allah is an enemy to those who reject faith we have sent down to thee manifest signs and none reject them but those who are preserved is it not the case that every time they make a covenant some party amongst them throw it aside nay most of them are faithless and when they come to them a messenger of Allah confirming what was with them a party of the people of the book threw away the book of Allah behind their backs as if it had been something they did not know 
They followed what the what the Satan's recited over Solomon's kingdom. Solomon's did not believe or disbelieve, but Satan's disbelieved, teaching men magic and such things as come down to Babylon to the angels, Harut and Maru. But neither of these taught anyone such things without saying, We are only for trial, so do not blaspheme me. They learned from them the means of so discord between man and wife, but they could not thus harm anyone except by Allah's permission. And they learned what harmed them, not what profited them, and they knew that the buyers of magic would have no share in the happiness of the hereafter, and vile was the price for which ye did sell their souls. If they but knew. If they have kept their faith and guarded themselves from evil, far better had been the reward from Allah if they but knew. O ye of faith, I say to the prophet Reina, but say, Unzerna and hearken to him. To those without faith is a grievous punishment. It is never the wish of those without faith among the people of the book, nor the polytheists that anything good should come down to you from your Lord. But Allah will choose for his special mercy whom he will, for Allah is Lord of grace abounding. None of our revelations do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten, but we substitute something better or similar. Knowest thou not that Allah hath power over all things? Knowest thou not that Allah belongeth the dominion? Of the heavens and the earth. And besides him. Ye have neither patron nor helper. Would ye question your messenger. As Moses, as Moses was questioned of old. But who of ill changes. The faith to unbelief. Has strayed, with, strayed without doubt. From the even way. I am like seeing myself slow down. When reading this. I'm trying not to. I don't know why you're still watching this if you are. Like, I apologize. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to drink some more water. It's been 30 minutes. Still in part one. People that could recite this entirely, I commend you. Mmm. <laughs> Quite a number of the people of the book wish they could turn you people back to the infidelity. After ye have disbelieved from selfish envy, after the truth hath become manifest unto them. But forgive and overlook till Allah brings about his command, for Allah hath power over all things. And be steadfast in prayer and give zakat. And whatever good ye send forth for ye souls before ye, ye should found, find it with Allah. For Allah sees well. All what they, all what ye do, and they say none shall enter paradise unless he be a Jew or a Christian. So those are their vain desires. Say, produce your proof if ye are truthful. Nay, whoever submit his whole self to Allah and his doer of good, he will get his reward with his Lord. On such shall be no fear, nor shall they grieve. The Jews say the Christians have not to stand upon. And the Christians say the Jews have not to stand upon. Yet they profess to study the same book. Like under their word is what those say who not who know not. But Allah will judge between them in their quarrel on the day of judgment. So, as someone who grew up Christian, I heard that a lot. That um, you like had to be Christian in order to like make it to heaven and that just like always seems strange to me because what if someone was from a different religion but their heart was true and pure and they did 
nothing but worship God and did everything that they thought was right for God. But because they did not read a certain book, they would not make it to heaven? That just never made sense to me. Now, of course, I cannot say who makes it to heaven. You cannot say who makes it to heaven. But... I doubt that it's based off the book that you read and more of what is in you. Anyways, back to it. And who is more unjust than he who forbids that in places for the worship of Allah? His name should be celebrated, whose zeal is, in fact, to ruin them. It was not fitting that such should themselves enter them except in fear. Except in fear for them, there is nothing but disgrace in this world, and in the world to come, an exceeding torment. To Allah belongs the east and the west. Whithersoever ye turn, there is, his, all, there is Allah's face, for Allah is, Allah is all-embracing, all-knowing. They say Allah hath begotten the Son, glory be to him. Nay, to him belongs all that is in the heavens and on earth. Everything renders worship to him. The originator of the heavens and the earth, when he decreeth the matter, he said to them, Be, and it is. Say, Those without knowledge, why speaketh not Allah unto us, and why cometh not unto us a sign? So said the people before them, words of similar import, their hearts are alike. We have indeed made clear the signs unto any people who hold firmly to faith in their hearts. Verily we have sent thee in truth as a bearer of glad tidings and a warner. But of these no questions shall be asked of the companions of the blazing fire. Never will the Jew or the Christian be satisfied with thee unless thou follow their form of religion. Say the guidance of Allah is the only guidance. Wert thou to follow their desires after the knowledge which hath reached thee, then wouldst thou find neither protector nor helper against Allah. Those to whom we have given the book studied it as they should be studied. They are the ones that believe therein, those who reject faith therein. The loss is their own. O children of Israel, call to mind the special favor which I bestow upon you, and I preferred you to all the others. Then guard yourselves against the day when one soul shall not avail another, nor shall compensation be accepted from here, from her, nor shall intercession profit her, nor shall anyone be helped from outside. And remember that Abraham was tried by his Lord with certain commands which he fulfilled. He said, I will make thee an imam to the people he pleaded, and also imams from my offspring. He answered, But my promise is not within the reach of evildoers. Remember we made the house a palace of assembly for men and place of safety, and take ye the station of Abraham as a place of prayer. And we co covenanted with Abraham and Ishmael that they should sanctify my house for those who come past it round or use it as a retreat, or bow, or prostrate themselves there in, in prayer. And remember Abraham said, My Lord, make this a city of peace, and feed its people with fruits, such as them as believe in Allah in the last day. He said, Yeah. And such as reject faith for a while, will I grant them their pleasure, but will soon drive them to the torment of fire, an evil destination indeed. And remember Abraham and Ishmael raised the foundations of the house with his prayer. Our Lord, accept this service from us, for thou art the all-hearing and all-knowing. Our Lord, make us, make of us Muslims bowing to thy will, and of our progeny, a people Muslim, bowing to thy will, and show us our place for the celebration of due rights, and turn unto us in mercy, for thou art, thou art the oft-relenting most merciful. 
Our Lord, send amongst them a messenger of their own who shall rehearse the signs in them and instruct them in scripture and wisdom and purify them. For thou art the exalting and might the wise. And who turns away from the religion of Abraham, but such as to base their soul with folly. Him we choose in rendering pure in this world, and he will be in the hereafter in the ranks of the righteous. Behold, his Lord said to him, Submit thy will to me, he said. I submit my will to the Lord and the cherisher of the universe. And Abraham enjoined upon his sons, and so did Jacob. O oh, my sons, all I have chosen the faith for you. Then die not except in the state of submission to me. Where you witnessed when death appeared before Jacob. Behold, he said to his sons, What will you worship after me? They said, We shall worship thy God and the God of the Father. God of thy fathers of Abraham, Ishmael and Isaac, the one true God, to him do we submit. That was a people that hath passed away. They shall reap in fruit of what they did, and ye of what ye do. Ye shall not be asked about what they do. They said, Become Jews or Christians if ye would be guided to salvation. Say thou nay, I would rather the religion of Abraham, the true, and he joined not God with Allah. Say ye, we believe in Allah, and the revelation given to us, and to Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob, and the tribes, and that given to Moses and Jesus, and that given to all prophets from their Lord, we make no difference between one another, one and another of them, and we submit to Allah. So if they believe as ye believe, they are indeed on the right path. But if they turn their back, it is they who are in this schism. But Allah will suffice thee as against them, and he is all hearing and all knowing. Our religion takes a hue from Allah, and who gives a hue than Allah? It is he whom we worship. So, that is part one of the cows. There's two more parts, I think. Uh, very long parts. Um, I don't want to keep you guys, like, just, like, waiting this entire time. Like, just listening to me. Because I don't know if you like this to begin with. Um, let's see here. see where it ends okay yeah so on page 52 and I'm on page 21 I still got 30 pages <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know if you guys like this or even gonna look at it so if you do that's great um, let me know what you thought I'm sorry for my terrible reading. <laughs> I usually don't read out loud. I usually don't read. But you could probably tell that. Um, if you did watch all this, thank you. Um, and let me know to continue, please. So I know. I'm still going to read it on my own. But I feel like it's more of... I feel more obligated to do it this way. Um, but anyways, I will see you guys later, and I love you.